converting units of measurement. When we're measuring things like time or length or weight or money, we often get given a value in different units. So time, a question could be answered as three hours. Another question could be asked, answered as 15 minutes. Your weight could be given in kilograms or grams or pounds or all sorts of things. And we need to be able to convert between them. Any of these conversions follow the same steps. And the really big thing that you've got to get into your head is the difference between converting from a big unit to a small unit and the other way around. Rulers can help us illustrate this. This ruler is measuring up here in centimeters. One, two, three. This one is measuring in millimeters. 10, 20, 30. If I put those together, you can see, as you already know, that one centimeter is 10 millimeters. It's the same length. There's more millimeters because millimeters are really small compared to a centimeter, which is bigger. I know this is obvious, but the big question you've got to ask yourself is, are you converting from a big unit, oh my pen's run out, from a big unit to a small unit, like dollars to cents, kilometers to meters, hours to, da uh, hours to minutes. Because if you're going from a big unit, like centimeters, relatively speaking, it's larger than millimeters, then, because there's got to be more of the small unit to fit into the same space, you're going to multiply. If you're converting from a small unit to a big unit, so say I was converting from 150 cents into dollars. A cent is smaller than a dollar. So there's not going to be as many dollars. If I want to get to a smaller number, I'm going to have to divide. So multiplying makes our number bigger because there's more of the small units. Dividing makes our number smaller because there's fewer of the big units. And the only other thing you have to know once you've got that, is how many small units to one big unit. And that's the number that you'd multiply or divide by. So let's have a look at some questions. E.g. 120 seconds is how many minutes? These are the questions that you've got to ask yourself. Am I going from a big unit to a small unit? I'll multiply. Small unit to a big unit, divide. 120 seconds is how many minutes? Seconds is small, minutes is big. So, small unit to big unit, I'm going to multiply the number of seconds, 120 seconds, by the number of seconds in a minute. There's 60 seconds, oh, I'm not going to multiply, it's small to big, I've got to divide. 60 seconds in a minute, so 120 divided by 60, 2 minutes. Hours to days, small unit to big unit, divide. Three divided by how many of the little unit and one big one? How many hours in a day? There's 24. This is going to be a very small number because three hours is not much of a day. Three divided by 24, 
0 0.125 days. If we're going something like 3 weeks is how many days? Now here days is a smaller unit. I'm going from a big unit to a small unit. There's going to be quite a lot of days. So I multiply the number of weeks times how many days in a week? That would be 7, 21 days. So these are the questions you ask yourself. Big to small or small to big? Do I want more of the number because it's a tiny little unit or less of the number? Length. We might have to convert 60 millimeters to centimeters or 3 kilometers to meters. Small unit to big unit. There's not as many of the big unit. I'm going to divide. 60, the number of the small unit, divided by how many millimeters to a centimeter? 10. 6 centimeters. 3 kilometers to meters. Meters is a small unit. There's a lot more of them to fill up that space. I'm going to multiply the number of kilometers times how many meters in a kilometer? A thousand. Three thousand meters. It's the same steps every time you do a, any conversion. Wait. How about I write the questions and you see if you can do them? Capacity. Okay, two kilograms to grams, big to small, which means I multiply. Two kilograms times how many grams in a kilogram? A thousand. Two thousand grams. Capacity, liters to milliliters, big to small, I multiply. 1.3 times how many mils in a liter? 1,000, 1,300 milliliters, 1,550 cents to dollars, small unit to big unit. It's going to be fewer dollars. It's not very much at all, really. We divide 1,550 divided by how many cents in a dollar? 100, $15.50.